పరిశోధన సంస్థ ఇస్రో మరో ప్రయోగానికి సిద్ధమైంది మరి కాసేపట్లో శ్రీహరికోట నుంచి పిఎస్ఎల్వి సి థర్టీ వన్ నింగిలోనికి దూసుకెళ్లనుంది ప్రస్తుతం అక్కడ ప్రాసెస్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది అక్కడి నుంచి ప్రత్యక్ష ప్రసారం చూద్దాం so at tzero we will have the ignition of the s138 stage along with the ignition of the four solid strap ons and 25 seconds later we will have the ignition of the remaining two solid strap ons so minus 1 minute all sessions stand by for the time mark mark minus 1 minute and counting is samay hum count down se almost 1 uh, minute ki duri par minus 55 seconds all stops armed So minus 45 seconds, minus 40 seconds. Minus 35 seconds. So another 25 seconds. Minus 20 seconds. Minus 18 seconds. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, plus one. So first stage ignited. Plus three, plus four, plus five. Plus six, plus seven, plus eight. First stage along with four solid stop ons has been ignited. The lift off is normal. Plus fifteen seconds. Plus fifteen seconds. confirmation that the ground lift strap ons four strap ons have been successfully separated at 70 seconds the vehicle is at an altitude of around nominally at 32.3 kilometers 85 seconds into the flight p2 track near cpt1 plus 1 minute 30 seconds at 92 seconds we should hear yes air lift strap on has been separated at 92 seconds first stage performance normal altitude is 44 kilometers and the vehicle has moved from the launch base at a distance of almost 65 kilometers the vehicle velocity as expected during the first stage of flight is nearing the first stage separation is around 2 km per second the next event is at 110 ps1 stay separated and ps2 engine started so we just heard the announcement that the first stage has been successfully separated 111 seconds and the second stage ignition has been initiated immediately after the separation of the first stage and the vehicle has also entered into closed loop guidance algorithm second stage performance normal so perform second stage performance has been indicated as normal if you look at the burn time of the second stage burn for almost 145 to 150 seconds and uh, as per the nominal flight sequence we can expect the separation of the second stage to happen at 262 seconds when the vehicle is at an altitude of around 134 kilometers with a velocity of almost 5.3 kilometer per second which basically means the first two stages of the rocket would deliver almost 50% of the velocity which is required for the satellite to reach its designated orbit so 174 seconds into the flight altitude is 102 kilometers during the second stage of flight we have one other important event called as the separation of the payload fairing or the heat shield which primarily protects the spacecraft during the atmospheric phase and during the the intense 
uh, radiation that happens during the atmospheric phase. And once we are out of the atmosphere, around 110 kilometers plus, heat the heat shield is separated so that we don't carry any dead weight beyond this particular event. So we just heard the announcement, heat shield has been successfully separated at 198 seconds. And where the time of the launch is, at this time, 213 seconds. We are in the second stage of flight. And... 30 सेकेंड का टाइम बाकी और व्हीकल की ऊंचाई इस वक्त ऑलमोस्ट 123 किलोमीटर एंड इफ यू लुक एट द वेलोसिटी ऑलमोस्ट 4 किलोमीटर वेलोसिटी हैज बीन एडेड द नॉमिनल टाइम एट व्हिच द पीएस2 शुड सेपरेट इज 262 सेकंड्स इट्स अराउंड 25 सेकंड्स फ्रॉम नाउ एंड पीएसएलई परफॉर्मेंस हैज बीन नॉर्मल इफ यू लुक एट द द प्लॉट्स दैट वर शोन ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज द प्लॉट ऑफ द अल्टीट्यूड एंड द वेलोसिटी द Flight that is going through the phase right now is exactly following the pre-flight predictions. So any time from now we should hear the announcement. Yes, VS2 has been separated, separated at 262 VS3 seconds, and the third stage also has been ignited. A very close match with the pre-flight predictions. So 275 seconds into the flight. Altitude 135 kilometers, and the vehicle has moved almost 650 kilometers from this area. As you can see on your screen, all the flight events. Chairman is Shri Kumar. Press five minutes. Five minutes into the flight, 300 seconds. Uh, view of the altitude and the velocity profiling, what you are seeing on your screen, the bottom curve is the altitude profile, the red curve indicates the pre-flight predictions, and the one, the green shown is the, the flight measured elemented data. So very close match with the altitude, time versus altitude and time versus velocity. As per the nominal flight sequence, the third stage should burn out at 386 seconds. Third stage performance, Rama. And after the burnout, we almost have a post burnout event of almost 200 seconds plus before the, the third stage gets separated and the ignition of the fourth stage happens. So we are up to 345 seconds into the flight with an altitude of 138 kilometers. The velocity is 6.52, all looking nominal. So if you look at the, the velocity addition that happens during the entire phase of flight, as I was mentioning during the first stage of flight, we have almost 25% of the velocity addition that has been provided to the vehicle. During the second stage flight, we have at the end of second stage flight, almost 56% of the total velocity has been imparted to the vehicle. Now the third stage which ignites stage, 264 seconds after liftoff, this so happens one stage, one second after the oh, RBC separation. At the time the third stage separates, the vehicle is at an altitude of 186 kilometers and the velocity of VSC separation is almost 7.7 .7 kilometer per second. Now this mission being a uh, 260, 284 by 20,650, almost sub GTO orbit, the velocity that the vehicle has to impart to the satellite is of the order of 9.6 km per second. So we have almost a 7.34 km per second velocity already imparted to the, the rocket. Uh, 417, 18 seconds into the flight. Probably at uh, PS3. Run out. And then PS3 separation should happen at 605 seconds. So after the burnout of the third stage, there is a coasting time of, uh, as I was mentioning nearly 230 seconds before the fourth stage is ignited. This is primarily decided by the mission requirements to optimally meet the target condition. Performance during combined coasting is normal. And uh, PS3 has burnt out and uh, the vehicle is going through the combined coasting, which is the PS3 and PS4 stage together before it is separated. So coasting is uh, basically the phase where the rocket motors are kept in off condition. And uh, this work to some way, 470 seconds, our vehicle ki uchai is work to 160 kilometers, and the uh, vehicle velocity is uh, 7. The final velocity that the satellite has to receive is around 9.6 kilometers per second. 
As was mentioning during the coasting phase of flight, the rocket motors are in off condition. At the end of the coast period, the four stage gets ignited at 616 seconds and burns nominal for almost uh, 510 seconds. So nominal burn time of four stage is 510 seconds, which is going to take the satellite to the required elliptical orbit of 284 by 20,650 kilometer, where the velocity will be around 9.6. So once the target conditions are met, higher and the satellite will get separated after nearly 37 seconds. So right now the time is 516 seconds with 7.3 km velocity. And uh, as you can see during the coasting phase, uh, there is a steep rise in the altitude. Even though the perigee is uh, around 284, the final injection altitude is to the extent of almost 450 kilometers. So there is a continuous rise in altitude during the coasting when the coasting is going on. So just, the hard, just heard the announcement. The performance during the combined coasting is nominal. So we should expect the PS3 separation to happen in the next 50 seconds from now followed by which we will have the ignition of the fourth stage 10 seconds after the third stage has been separated. So we are at 567 seconds. As you can see, because the rocket stage is uh, completely off during this phase of flight, uh, what you will see is there is a drop in the velocity because the vehicle is continuously climbing. And the altitude, once the altitude increases, the velocity is going to drop down because there is no finite velocity addition that is taking off is the rocket motors are in the off condition. So once the PS3 stage is separated and uh, PS3, PS4 stage gets ignited, you will see the, as the altitude is increasing, there will be increase in the velocity addition. So we expect something like 2.2 km velocity to be imparted by the, by the PS4 stage. So we just heard the announcement, PS3 has been separated as planned at 605 seconds. Maybe in the next 5 to 10 seconds, we should hear, yes, PS4 engine also has been successfully ignited at 616 seconds. So we have view of the Mission Control Center, the VVIP gallery. It's waiting for, yes, fourth stage has been performing nominally. So during this phase of flight, which is a duration of almost 500 seconds, the vehicle uh, from the present altitude of 194 kilometers should reach something like 450 kilometers. And the velocity from the present 7.4 kilometer should take the satellite to a velocity of around 9.6. As you can see on your screen now, the velocity is slowly started to increase because the rocket motor has been ignited. Six seventy-eight seconds, almost two hundred kilometer altitude. As for the nominal timing that we have with us, the PS4 cutoff should happen at thousand one hundred and twenty-two seconds when the vehicle is at an altitude of four hundred and fifty kilometers, and thirty-seven seconds later, after the cutoff of the fourth stage, the separation of INSS one e satellite will be executed, which is which would be at one one five nine seconds when the vehicle is at altitude of almost 502 kilometers. So right now we are 712 seconds into the flight and uh, the satellite with the upper stages almost reach a distance of 3600 kilometers which is called as a downrange. The altitude is 208 kilometers. Just a quick uh, details on the INS 1E satellite. INS 1E satellite uh, had a liftoff mass of around 1425 kilograms. And this configuration of INS 1E is similar to that of INS 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D. The two solar arrays of INS 1E, consisting of uh, ultra triple junction solar cells, generate almost 1660 watts of electrical power. And with regard to the attitude or orbit control system, also called as the AOCS of INS 1E, Main cell satellite orientation with the help of reaction wheels, magnetic torques, and uh, thrusters. <coughs> so, four stage performance is normal. And with regard to the propulsion system of INS 1E, it has a liquid apogee motor, which is primarily used for raising the altitude from its present altitude of uh, 
from the initial orbit of 284 by 20,000 into the final designated orbit of 36,000 kilometer. And there are also thrusters for me. Swadeshi navigation upagrahani moskuntu PSLV C31 Ningiloniki Anukuna Samyaniki Duskupoindi, a Prachikhi Prasarum, Satish Davan Space Center Ninchi, Manantorku Prachikhi Prasarum Chusa, to